I'm Janice Selinger, Acting Executive Director of NJN Public Television and Radio, former Second Vice Chairman, former National Secretary, and former Trustee of the Mid-Atlantic Chapter of Natus. I'm really pleased tonight to be able to speak about my friend and colleague, Roger Lyons. Roger. It really was a surprise. They were able to surprise you with your great journalistic skills. I can't believe that they were able to pull this off. I really had a hard time at the scholarship committee meeting not letting something slip about this. And who can believe that Natus was able to keep a secret? Congratulations, Roger. It has just been such a pleasure working with you over the years. And you so deserve this honor of the Governor's Award for your work in broadcast journalism, your work for Natus as president and trustee. I really enjoyed the times that we've spent on the scholarship committee over the years, sitting next to one another often at the trustees meetings, which always made those meetings go a lot quicker. And Roger, you and Peg have always been a delight as we went on our trustee trips over the years. Congratulations, Roger. I wish you all the best and look forward to seeing you soon. Hi, Roger. Congratulations on your award. Uh, I've really valued your friendship over the years as a member of the trustees, the Board of Trustees of Natus, and also as a member of the Scholarship Committee. You've really been a valuable member of the Scholarship Committee, and I've always appreciated your input. Again, congratulations. I'm sorry I can't be with you, but enjoy the evening. Greetings from the nation's capital. Roger, Carrie and I are so sorry we couldn't be there in person on this very special evening but I know you are surrounded by family and friends who are so proud of you tonight. We've traveled the world together on trustees trips and I'm thrilled that I was there to watch you fall in love with Peg and was present when you said your I do's. New England chapter, you got it just right. You couldn't be honoring a better person for the most prestigious and highest award a chapter can bestow. Roger, not only are you a man of integrity and honesty, but humor and just plain fun. You are simply the best. Roger, it's also my pleasure to present you with a plaque from the trustees of the National Television Academy of Arts and Sciences. Congratulations. Clearly, I didn't prepare a speech. <laughs> I really think this is a dream. Is this really a dream? Honestly. I think um, Patrick Ewing is going to wake up. Is it, what is his name? Not Patrick Ewing. Bobby Ewing is going to wake up, and this is all going to be a dream. Um, I guess I'm a lifer. I've been involved with the Television Academy for 23 years. Um, I think it's 23. My math's pretty bad, as my wife will attest to. Um, and I've been, I've been involved in a number of ways, off and on. And this is, this is supposed to be the year I've kind of pulled back <laughs> and tried to, like, you know, load, le lessen my burden a little bit. But that didn't work out at all, obviously. Um, I can't tell you how much of a shock this is. <laughs> so I'm going to keep this brief because that was the theme of this our ceremony tonight was brevity. I want to thank the Board of Governors, everybody who had anything to do with my career, in this room and outside the room. And uh, I love my wife, Peg, who's been with me for decades. Decades! And my family. I can't believe my family's all here. This is, I'm telling you, I still can't believe this is real. Thank you to the Academy. Thank you to everybody. Have a great night. I have already. <laughs> Thank you. So please enjoy your salads. We'll be back with some special awards during dinner. Thank you.